I'm satisfied. Nevertheless, how exciting! I've invented a lozenge, a lozenge sublime. It only takes one to travel in time. Into the future, into the past. This 2012 It is The laws in Chanchon's well Who are you? I'm the professor What was that? <laughs> The professor am I, just wandering by. I heard all your woes, life has highs and lows. You're well rid of your boyfriend, a lawyer, dear me. They contribute little, then charge a high fee. There's no need to sob. Would you like a job? I've won, they can see. It's working for me. Has the job a specification? 
The things that I see often leave me aghast. I need a first mate to help navigate. I hope if you're free, you might come with me. We can go where we like, there is no set plan. Meet Mozart and Shakespeare and Sullivan. Future or past, just on a whim. Free from life's fetters grim. Should I go? Should I stay? Should I be a fit? This professor seems rather weird. I hope press assessments are all in place for what we are likely to face. Please rest assured, I am far from dumb. I've studied the space-time continuum. I'm well regarded by all my peers and worked on my lozenge for years. But never using confectionery Before agreeing to join your crew I need to think this thing through We must leave right away, my dear There's much to do and no time, I fear You have my offer, it's time to say There can be no more delay I think I can trust you, it all makes sense You seem to have lots of experience My logbook showing the trips I've done Including this morning shows one Time to go, time to go, you must say, you must say. By strange coincidence, the life of which normally only occurs in comic operas, I study. Then it's settled, you're hired, where would you like to go? Shall we say, a hundred years from now? Why not?
65 years ago I was born an orphan with no ma or pa. I wasn't left on a doorstep but found just inside a rundown cinema. Raised by a cleaner called Hattie Jones, childless and lived on her own. She died last fall, now I've no one at all. I'm once again on my own. I have no friends, find me. And I am quite my zelie. Last week I retired, and now I would like to research my family tree. So far I've one name, and that is my own. I really don't. Have a clue. I must confess that my life is a mess. Oh, what on earth should I do? I wonder what year it is. Uh, excuse me, is this 2112? Yes, of course. My name is Lucy. What's yours? Ebenezer Jones. Poor fellow. <laughs> Is there any bad On the one hand, I am in need of a friend, and having always found relationships difficult, despite reading all the self-help books on how to appear attractive to women, and how to get that first date, and how to make small talk. And despite having all the money that I need, I have always failed in that department, and I'm really lonely. And on the other, she might have heard about my wealth and be planning to trick me into a loveless marriage, during which she will live well at my expense and through some form of mental torture to drive me to drink in an early grave and spend the rest of her life living in luxury. Then what's going on here? Help me. Oh, sorry, lozenge malfunction. Who is this? Ebenezer Jones. Poor fellow. <laughs> Enough of this. The time has come to end it all. This is far too much to bear. I cannot take this any longer. Hold! Is that a strawberry mark you wear? I want to let us compare. Yes, they look the same, dear air. They do. This could be a tangled I wonder if we share a gene. Oh, what a dramatic scene. Now comes the clever bit. A DNA testing kit. If we are related, <laughs> the DNA results show. The 
that you are Ebenezer's grandmother. <gasps> I'm a grandmother! <coughs> I'm a grandmother. Granny.
must stay intact. What happened, happened, that's a fact. This memory wiper has the knack. I bought it from a man in black. <laughs> to stay here, Lucy, would be wrong. The lozenge only lasts so long. That I found you, I bid you good day. Perhaps in the future you'll come back this way. Your grandmother and my foot is I and no other. I wish you farewell then, good morrow, grandmother. I'll see you again, though perhaps not tomorrow. I beg you to show not a sign of your sorrow. Good morrow, grandmother. Grandmother, good morrow. The next time I see you, a baby I'll be. I hope for my sake that you recognize me. <laughs> the chances of that seem to me rather bleak. Then here is a picture of me aged one week. <laughs> Perhaps in the future together we'll be. I should see you, then I'm sure you'll see me. Good morrow, grandmother. Grandmother, good morrow. well, very well, as we all can see, but we must not play with history. Everything changes if we stay, we must be on our way. To meet a descendant is very strange, funny how one's view of life can change. I'm not wed yet, but soon must be, growing my family tree. Since I was orphaned, I searched because I had to find out just who I was. Meeting with you has been good for me, starting my family tree. It is time, Lucy dear, to say goodbye. This is the part where I'm sure she'll cry. One flash of this vision slightly blurred, and he'll forget what occurred. To leave the Lisa will cause much pain, since we may never meet again. There'll be a man and a child for me, all on my family tree. Now I can start to research my plan. I feel like I'm a brand new man. I will find more family to add to my family tree. Family tree, family tree, family tree, family tree. Family tree. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for attending the so-called world premiere of The Time Traveller. 
following seven previews in which we changed it regularly. Uh, there are two things other, other than that I need to tell you. Firstly, if you belong to a, an amateur operatic, a Gilbert and Sullivan society, or any sort of society that might want to put on the time traveller, just being here today has just earned you a 50% discount on a performing licence. All you need to do is to give your name and details to one of our assistants, who will be in the foyer after trial by jury. And, because it's Buxton, and it's such a good time, we have made up full vocal scores and CDs with librettos, both reduced by 25% because we're in Buxton. So you can get one of those too. There are no lozenges. <laughs> we felt that was not safe. In the wrong hands, these things can be dangerous. Thank you again very much indeed.